Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. Suppose a and b are real numbers. Then a minus b is equal to zero if and only if a is equal to b. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now in this video, we are going to be using the following axioms. Axioms 1 and 2 are just the commutative and associative laws. Axiom 4 tells us that there exists a real number, which we call 0, that has the property that x plus 0 is equal to x for all real numbers x. And Axiom 5 tells us, for all real numbers x, there exists a real number, which we call the negative x, that has the property that x plus the negative x is equal to 0. Now, using Axiom 5, our definition of subtraction is as follows. Suppose a and b are real numbers. We define a minus b to be a plus the negative of b. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, we're trying to prove a minus b equals zero if and only if a is equal to b. And to prove that, we're going to prove if a minus b is equal to zero, then a is equal to b. And then we're going to prove if a equals b, then a minus b is equal to zero. So let's start off by proving the forward. That is, let's prove if a minus b equals zero, then a is equal to b. And to prove that, suppose a minus b is equal to zero. From here, we want to show that a is equal to b. And we're going to establish that a is equal to b through a chain of equalities. And through that chain of equalities, we are going to be applying axioms 1, 2, 4, and 5, and the definition of subtraction. First of all, by axiom 4, we know that a is equal to a plus 0. Then by axiom 5, 0 is equal to b plus the negative of b. And then by axiom 1, we can replace b plus the negative of b with the negative of b plus b. And then by axiom 2, we can move the parentheses around a plus the negative of b. And then by definition of subtraction, a plus the negative b is equal to a minus b. And then, by assumption, a minus b is equal to 0. So we can replace a minus b with 0. And then by axiom 1, 0 plus b is equal to b plus 0. And then by axiom 4, b plus 0 is equal to b. So, through this chain of equalities, we see that a is equal to b. So, we have shown if a minus b is equal to 0, then a is equal to b. Now let's prove the other direction. Let's prove if a is equal to b, then a minus b is equal to zero. And to prove that, suppose a is equal to b. From here, we want to show that a minus b is equal to zero. And we are going to establish that a minus b is equal to zero through a chain of equalities. And through that chain of equalities, we are going to be using axiom five and the definition of subtraction. First of all, since a is equal to b, we can replace b with a, and then by definition of subtraction, a minus a is equal to a plus the negative of a, but then by axiom 5, a plus the negative of a is equal to 0. So through this chain of equalities, we have established that a minus b is equal to 0. And so we have shown if a is equal to b, then a minus b is equal to 0. And so, we have proven both directions of this statement. So we have proven the entire statement. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.